Oh hey guys, it's and there's a night here from Three Red Gamers. And um, I've got a bit of a commentary today, talking about um, these two games in particular, the Saboteur and Binary Domain. If you just want to have a click on that, because I don't really know how to say it. And um, I'm just gonna take you through the like the plots of the stories and that, and tell you what I think of them. To start off with right, we'll go back right to the left, shall we? Um, so Binary Domain, I even ran to different bloppers. I did about a day or day or two now, and it is quite getting exciting. It is getting quite good now. There is some bits that I've struggled with, but I kind of like pull through them and just not give up. And same with that as well. There has been bits in that. I've already done the produce, so no, fine. We'll get to that in a minute. But this, the plot of the story is really as a man called Dan. I can't I think it's Daniel or something, but he, everyone refers to him Dan in game. So I think his, his name's Dan, and there's a, there's five people. Well, there's Dan, there's Bo, there's Charlie, there's Alice, and there's something else. And then someone else. I think it's Alice. I'm not sure. It's going to have to bite yourself and see you'll find out. But what it is, it's made by Sega. Hey, hey, Sega. Haven't haven't heard a game release since the Mar well, not the Mario's, the Sonics. And um, it's about like Dan and his like kind of team, his military team, trying to take over while well, stopping an alien invasion. If you can see on the case there. My dog, yeah, like there's Charlie's back, and there's there's the robots. So yeah, if you just flip onto the back, flip onto the back, man. There's Dan himself. There's the robots you're fighting. Now they call they call them, they call them scrap heads for the, the nice ones that haven't turned. If that makes sense, the nice ones that haven't turned. They're called scrap heads, and then they're just called um, B2s, I think. Now there's a nice little cartridge on both of them actually. The machine age has begun for the for the bio domain one. If we just flip back over the front. Now fifteen now now I didn't get I didn't buy this when my dad would rent the box so quite happy with what because really I don't play third person shooters. But now I will start think playing them a bit, I think. I think I will start playing them a bit because yeah, actually quite better than first person. Um and then so but that if you want to go and buy it and if you want to leave if you want to leave a comment to say if you want me to see some gameplay on that before it was back. Now let's get over to um Saboteur. See if I just move the bound way another So Saboteur really is a, is about an Irishman that goes to France. During the World War Two, against resistance in Paris against the Nazi Germany. Um it's made by EA, so but people the people make FIFA's. So I was quite shocked, and then it is IGN's best of E3 winner 2009. I know it's quite a long time ago, but it is a pretty good game. Now, I'll tell you what it is. It's like a GTA versus Mafia put together. Mafia, all times, plus a GTA. You can do pretty much what you want on GTA. Run around, you got cars, rob cars, you can do that on that. So it's helping, the front, it's helping the, in Paris against resistance against the Nazi Germany. Now if I just pull away and flip over, sorry about the finger. <laughs> Not much I can do. Uh, I tell you that the um, Binary Domain's got a very nice catchphrase, the, the Machine Age has begun. This one is Viva La Vengeance. Now if we just look on the back for a minute, if you can just see there's the Sabotage and Enemy Forces. There's Inspire the Resistance, which is what you do. And Get Revenge. Unleash a huge arsenal of wet vehicles, weapons, explosives to, 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 to destroy the Nazi war machines. So yeah, guys, the both of uh, that I bought this one for nine pound ninety nine. Bought it for tenner really, and is one of the best games I've played so far. Well, not so far. I wouldn't say I've got quite a few game selections. I've got quite a few on Xbox. I've got quite a few on PS3. Now that I don't know how not much is that come out on the twenty fourth of July. No, July, sorry. Of February that come out. Oh yeah, so you, you, might, you might just be able to see my laptop there. Um, I'm watching a commentary. Um, so much energy, COD commentary, gameplay, T T T T Yosh. Doing playing some domination on the map, a new town with the AK-47. Now I am on um, PS3 and Xbox. If people if people want to see my Xbox. My game's quite soon. I will do a gameplay. I will do a commentary on that. So you know, from from the games, I've got a PSP as well, which is down there, and Fast Five DVD. 
So yeah, um, my headset, my remote, me and my knee. So if we want to get back and remain out again. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, that's been Dings of the Nine from Free Gamers.